Hello friends, this is Kindred and today I will be sharing some tips on how to learn TDS's overdrives as quick as possible. You can even start doing this method before leaving Bisayid Island or even pre-Bisayid Island. First and foremost, you will want TDS to learn the overdrive mode loner. From the word itself, loner, TDS must be alone in a battle for his overdrive gauge to keep on charging. So always have two characters escape and then leave TDS alone in the battle. And to learn this overdrive mode, Tidus must take at least 60 turns by himself first. You can quickly learn loner by switching weapons or armors in the battle since it lessens the cooldown in between the turns or simply by just guarding. So some facts about the overdrive mode loner, by default, you will be able to fill your character's overdrive gauge by a total of 7 turns coming from an empty gauge. And with triple overdrive, you will be able to fill it within 3 turns. Tidus has a total of 4 overdrives starting with spiral cut followed by Slice and Dice, then Energy Rain, and finally Blitz Ace. In order to learn his next overdrive, you will just need to keep using the existing ones. So it doesn't matter, for example, let's say you already have Energy Rain. It doesn't matter where you have Spiral Cut or Slice and Dice. You can keep using either and it will still count towards Energy Rain. Alright, time to get into the specifics. So if you want to learn Slice and Dice, you will need to use Spiral Cut 10 times. And then if you want to learn Energy Rain, you will need to use either Spiral Cut or Slice and Dice 20 times after learning Slice and Dice. And then finally for Blitz Ace, you will need to use Spiral Cut or Slice and Dice or Energy Rain 40 times after learning Energy Rain. If it is still confusing for you, then we can talk about Total. For example, for Slice and Dice, you will need to use his overdrive a total of 10 times. For Energy Rain, you will need to use his overdrives a total of 30 times. And then finally for Blitz Ace, you will need to use his overdrive a total of 80 times. Furthermore, it should be noted that it doesn't matter whether you are successful when executing his overdrives. You can fail it, you can keep failing it, whatever, and it will still count towards the progress. With that said, this will be the end of this guide. So if you learned something, please do leave a like. Comments are appreciated as well. And subscribe if you want to learn more tips and tricks in the future. And if you are interested in looking into my 100% walkthrough for this game. Thank you and take care. Check this out. I've been saving this one for you!